Coastal communities deal with many different types of weather events, but one in particular can often lead to major damage and destruction. Today, we're looking at storm surge, what it is, how it happens, and why it's so dangerous. Let's look a little closer at those coastal communities. Most often, the greatest threat to life and property is a hurricane, or in some cases, a major hurricane. That's category three or above. When these massive heat engines approach land, a rise in water above normal tides can occur. This is storm surge. If storm surge occurs at the same time a normal high tide does, extreme flooding can occur. The waves on top of the storm surge is known as storm tide. In a major hurricane, the storm surge along with the tidal rise can reach 20 feet or higher. That's about as tall as an adult giraffe. When water is pushed towards the shoreline by winds rotating around a storm, storm surge is produced. Storm surge can be pretty difficult to predict because there are so many factors that can have an impact on it. Storm intensity, storm size, storm forward speed, angle of approach, even down to the shape of the coast and coastal features. Another impact to storm surge is the shape and width of the continental shelf, essentially the slope and shape of the coastline. A more shallow slope will produce greater storm surge than a more steep one. Think New Orleans, Louisiana versus parts of the South Florida coastline. Louisiana is much shallower and closer to sea level. In fact, New Orleans, where Hurricane Katrina hit, is about eight feet below sea level. But in comparison to the Miami area, it has steeper coastline that has a major drop off just a few miles offshore that can help disperse a higher storm surge before it comes on shore. New Orleans shallow coastline was a major contributing factor to the damage left behind by Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Storm surge flooding between 25 and 28 feet caused dozens of breaches to the coast's flood protection, resulting in 80% of the city going underwater. This would end up being the costliest natural disaster in U.S. history at $125 billion, tied with Hurricane Harvey in 2017. According to the National Hurricane Center, water weighs approximately 1,700 pounds per cubic yard. That's how much a small car weighs. As waves of storm surge arrive, that's more than enough to result in major destruction of buildings over time. Water tends to bend objects and stack them up like piles of toys, whereas wind damage breaks objects like a tornado. When you consider most of the U.S.'s Atlantic and Gulf Coasts are less than 10 feet above mean sea level, you can imagine how bad things can get during a storm surge event. Per the NHC, a 23-foot storm surge from a major Category 4 or 5 hurricane would cover 67% of interstates, 57% of side roads, almost half of area rail lines, 29 airports, and nearly every single port along the Gulf Coast. Being prepared is one of the best ways to keep you ahead of the storm. Make sure you know when a storm surge is threatening where you live by turning on the warnings and watches in the My Radar app. Go to the layers menu. It looks like a stack of cards and toggle it on to stay in the know and stay safe during hurricane season.